Welcome to the podcast, guys. Um, good news. Got some great news for you. Dave was the winner of our podcast comp yesterday. He knew the code word. Well done, Dave. Son um, of David. Yes, son of David Kosh. Um, and there's another password coming up on this podcast. Also, though, Kate Ritchie, my God, I don't know how you do this. What? You've got a list in front of you on what makes you rich in 2023. Like the research you do to deliver the best content on this podcast is extraordinary. Well, some print it up and read it. And I thank you again today. Like, what would be an example on this list? Um, Ferrari. Well, that's an obvious one. Lamborghini. No, these are these are things that you kind of like. Oh, five doing million. And there you go. Telstra shares. No. Will that be? Oh well, that would be up there, but that is not on my list. Do you list. mean like things like sparkling mineral water? Fancy. Could be fancy. Mm. But for then, for a fancy person, it's not very fancy. Well, it depends what sparkling you're drinking. If you've got your Pellegrino, San Pellegrino, then that's a beautiful sparkling mineral water. Are you going to say that Schweppes yeah. is not? I went there. Yeah, I went there. Don't go um, there, mate. Do what makes you there. rich in 2023? Kate's got the list in this podcast. Enjoy. The Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie Podcast. That moment when your credit card declines, it's a horrible moment. Hurts. Even your debit card. I mean, if there is a moment that it's happened to you, it's horrific. Um, there's a Up on the Gold Coast, Cali Beach Club, there is a club up there that they're putting people on blast. If you're racking up a heap of drinks, mm-hmm. at the end of the night, if you go to hand in your credit card and it declines, they're rocking up, Kate, with a huge sign and fireworks to inform everyone in the club that your card has oh, declined. Man. Oh, that's quite brilliant. That's not fair. One guy did say, though, it's actually, he was so embarrassed, it was beneficial, though, because he had a girl come over and said, you know what, I'll pay for your drinks. Wow. Oh, so it worked in his favour so in the end. it worked in his favour. She just loves cheap men that have run out of cash. Yeah, she probably but, ended up marrying him. Do you know what I used to do? Regretted it later. A, a bit of a tip for you guys, if you're struggling for money, which is not a bad idea, is Tommy and I used to do this. We'd roll into the local and we would drink i'd put my say i'd say come on put my card behind the bar knowing there was no money on it but pay was coming through say over the weekend or on the monday and then uh, we would enjoy the night and then i'd leave and accidentally forget to get my card from behind the bar so but it was never processed. Yeah, but then you've got to go back to the bar yeah, to pick so it up. Annoying. But the good news is I've then got money in the account and they'd go, I'd go, I'll just run it through now, mate. That'll, that should be fine. Oh, and so and you avoided all the embarrassment. Yeah, because I didn't have the money. It was inconvenient. Yeah. You, you strike me, <laughs> though, idea. with... Clever idea. Clever, yeah. And um, I don't want to be down on you like... Oh, no, like, I hate like, that. Like, like, the <laughs> like yesterday. Like, yeah, like yesterday. We yeah. did get a bit mean to you. You're very mean. Um, um, very aggressive. You do strike me as the kind of guy that's way his card around oh, saying, do I? I'll get platinum. this or Pl- platinum. I'll, oh, yeah. Yeah. This one's on Sorry, me. The, I think team. The, word, the word you're struggling for is, is generous. No. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hey, no it struck actually, me as being generous because I, yeah, I went to shout one time and I, this scarred me in a big way. I went to shout some friends where we went out for yum cha. So it was a big round table with a lazy Susan and the dumplings spinning in the middle. And I went, you know what, guys? <laughs> as Kate Ritchie would say, <laughs> oh, yeah. very generous. This one's me. on me. Gen- generous. I said, guys, this one's one's on me. I'll cover this. Don't you guys worry. relax. All I'm the big guy. Want. I've got a job. Yeah, I've got it, Lehm- guys. Lehman Brothers, I've got my card here. <laughs> it's all mine, man. And the lady came back and first she struggled to pronounce my name, Mr. Whipfley, and then I don't know why she had to yell so loudly but said, insufficient funds. <laughs> and I only had a debit card at the time. <laughs> insufficient funds! Quite, no, quite, Can quite. We just, just a little bit quiet. Also, while we're here, mm. last Friday morning, mm. breakfast, yeah. right? We ate our breakfast. Yeah. I, I had my breakfast wrap. I looked you in the eye and I said, <laughs> Whipper, thank you for breakfast. You yeah. said, no worries, mate. I'm yeah. glad you're mentioning we've, we've this. We've been informed afterwards that Kate paid for breakfast. <laughs> I didn't even know. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know till after breakfast. And do you know what? Do you know? It's so I funny you should say that breakfast. because I just quietly I'm writing notes. I mean, I'll write a book one day. But um, I um, I noticed. <laughs> three, I knew. Generosity. I knew I had contacted Key yeah. early with the ordering of breakfast and said, "Look, I haven't paid. Like, I, I know this is the thing that the mm. boys do. I'll, I'm happy to jump on board. Here's my card, yeah, right?" Yeah. 
And then when I arrived, I heard I heard someone say, "Thanks for breakfast, Whip." And I heard Whip go, "No worries." Because I thought I'd pay and, for it. And in Shot. my, in my head, in my head, <laughs> Mr. I, Whipley. Do you know what a good person I am? Yeah. I'm. I was happy to have paid for breakfast and to have let you get the <laughs> Thank the, you. the thanks the reward. because the I knew eventually label. everyone would know what well, a big no told, you were. No one had told me. Can I go to Madison in Blacksland? You had a few dramas with your cards declining, Madison. Yes, I did. So it was my one day off and I decided I'd go shopping, right? And then I, you know, filled the trolley. It was over $400 of a shop. And then I forgot my card. So I had to leave the trolley there. I had to drive back up the mountain to get my card and then come back to it declining on me. Oh, and it declined no. when you got back there. Did you cry, Madison? I would have Oh, cried. I was so embarrassed. It was like the worst feeling and like the line was piling up. And yeah. oh, How fast can you I'm run with a trolley full of food? Well. Oh, what cream. about that show? What was it? <laughs> Supermarket Sh- Sweep? Oh, how, how good was that? <laughs> and Great it was all show. set up. <laughs> oh, you're throwing in some garlic. Perfect oh. for my bolognese. <laughs> Deodor, it's expensive. <laughs> you know what was going in. What was his name? Christos? It was Christos. Christos. Oh, I don't even yes. remember who the guy Katie was. Katie and Christos. Tony, welcome to the show. You, your card was declined at a very bad time, was it? Yeah, hey guys. Uh, We were about to fly out to America and we were at a food court and my son said, can I go and get uh, some Maccas? Mm. And my wife handed him over the card and it was a joint credit card. And he came back, sat down eating his Maccas and my wife said, oh, can can we get the card back? And he's like, what card? Oh, no. So because it was a joint, my wife rang the bank and they said, yeah, no worries. So they shut both cards. Oh, so, and, and you're, and you're like, travelling. Yeah, we're about to fly out in like under 12 hours and oh. I'm standing there going, oh, oh. We ransacked the house and I thought, hang on, I organised a cash card through the same bank yeah. and was just fortunate enough I found it and we transferred money into the cash card. The cash card. Oh, no. just, but, yeah, it was one of those moments where you sort of just go, this is just destroyed our holiday. This is it, just because yeah. he wanted a cheeseburger. Yeah. Let's leave the kid in the food court and let's go to America. <laughs> oh, my God, Tony saved. At least it wasn't insufficient funds. <laughs> well, well, Stop Drake, yelling at me. Drake, on, Drake uh, over the weekend, yep. was on a live stream and they were raising money on this live stream on mm. a charity thing. And Drake goes, oh, this girl goes, oh, Drake, I'm getting a foot massage. And he goes, $500 straight up and put his credit card in and it come up on the screen, live stream charity, mm. card declined. Strike. <laughs> <laughs> wonder what his limit is. I know. Oh. I wouldn't have thought there would be one. So he'd obviously stolen someone else's credit card. That is a platinum <laughs> that for was, sure. Might have been mine. Have you checked out whatif.com's top 10 winter weekenders yet? How good's a what-if tip? Tweed Heads is in there, Lakes Entrance, Albury, Bendigo. Yeah, you better book your winter getaway on the What If app. What If, it's Aussie for travel. Do you have a um, a cutlery drawer in your dishwasher? Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's the top got... one, little thin one that slides out. No, mine's down oh, the bottom. Is it? Interesting. Yeah, there you go. No, do you just pile your cutlery yep. in or do you have a drawer where they sit No, in? not a drawer. We've got a little, a separate section that you put it in they stand up. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. That's very do... interesting. Very big difference then between the two of you. You want to do dishwasher chat? No, I don't want to do dishwasher chat. I want to talk wealth um, because, of course, everyone's, you know, pinching their pennies oh, and tightening want. their belts and all Mate, of that. They're um, getting smashed. They're doing lots of surveys on what what people think makes people rich oh. um, and what? what it what it costs to live, etc. Everyone's w- watching the interest rates rise. Well, having a dishwasher altogether, does that put you on the list or no? It does, but apparently what makes you wealthy is if you have a cutlery um, Draw. Shelf. shelf. Oh, a shelf. Yeah, there's right. a difference in, I guess, the level or the luxury. I would suggest um, it's just you bought a dishwasher in of the last a dishwasher. five years. Um, people are saying that it takes a yearly income of $335,000 to be financially comfortable. What? Despite the average, of course, sitting at about $53,000. a lot of money. Um, okay, I just want to go through the list of what makes people wealthy. Because let's be honest, even if we don't like to judge 
we all do sometimes, or we might no, see I've people. Never judged. No judgment. You know, on this show. No, no way. judgment. Not in this industry. Yeah, not in this building. Um, or, you know, it, yeah. pulling up in the car beside you. Yep. You have a little look at the car. Yeah. You, you've you've surmised what kind of person yep. they might be. You look at their handbag. You might look at their shoes or their watch. Yes. Um, some are, some have listed trivial things like having the cutlery drawer. Yeah, okay. okay. Putting you up there on the list of wealth. He, here are some others. If you have a butler pantry, of course. Yeah. If you wear pajamas from Peter Alexander, oh, they're very oh, fancy. I don't have any. Does anyone have any Peter Alexander jammies? Uh, I, I actually oh, look, don't because I wasn't does. allowed to wear Peter Alexander when they're I worked with Jockey. They're so soft and so beautiful. Peter, the kids have them. Oh, oh, oh they I were do. I have them. the strawberry shortcake ones. Are they? Oh, yeah. I remember. St- my sister had a strawberry, strawberry shortcake. shortcake. Yes, oh. it's so cute. I know I'm 45 and I'm. That's okay. Strawberry shortcake. I love your My Little Pony sad. jumper that you're wearing today. <laughs> Be quiet. Um, if you prefer organic fruit and veggies or if you own a second fridge people are saying that that makes you w- in inverted oh, commas I got a, so yeah. many people have an old fridge in the garage I yeah they a, do I have the old second fridge and, and that's a, got the dog food and stuff yeah. you know because we got a um, mum and dad used to have a big old freezer downstairs oh, awesome. uh, do they have the one that yeah, lifted up, lift yeah, it up. Oh, I love that yes. did you have ice blocks yep. in there bake and, fridge and sunny boys mum would go what do you guys want for dinner in three weeks because I've got to take the meat oh. out of the freezer <laughs> leave it on the front porch <laughs> there's fish fingers again Oh, brush the flies off it. Um, what else makes you rich? Okay, if you have expensive grooming services like Botox, if you eat Uber Eats maybe more than three times a week, oh. it puts you up there. Oh, you're gone, three rip. times a you week. Are gone, um, if you get a purse, if you get a haircut at an actual salon, right. apparently that makes you wealthy. Well, you different to that. Tom has a lady by the name of Jenny. Does she come to the house? She yeah. comes to the house to do a smart bob. Oh yeah, she, but, but it's only because it's convenient for her. She, she does brings a lot. Her, she brings does she have her own business? Yeah, yeah. yeah. She brings her hose. She used to work at an establishment in. called Parrots. Mm, she's um, blind. Kate, and then she had a falling out with the people there at, mm. at Parrots and started her own business. And now her clientele list is Tom. Tom. <laughs> um, but she does a, a cut, colour, and carry or whatever it's called. <laughs> she's great. She's allowed out <laughs> she, of the home. I think three hours a day. Her haircut, Kate, <laughs> which she, she does. Tom looks like Jimmy Barnes. <laughs> She looks like Jimmy Barnes. A female Jimmy Barnes. Does <laughs> like she? Yeah, it's beautiful. She does. She looks like a female Jimmy Barnes, yeah. and she does Tom's bob um, perfectly. I make the Jimmy Barnes <laughs> scream whenever Ooh. she cuts my Tom hair. goes in there and says, can you make me look like a librarian? <laughs> Keep it female, I'm please. Sorry. I'm sorry, too. Anyway. That's Tom, and that's how fancy and rich Tom is. Do you have a Frank Green Home drink haircut. bottle? Oh, no. What's Frank Green? Why is Frank Green Oh, my Green goodness. So good? I went into David Jones the other day, and I was looking for a thermos. I should have just nicked one from the office. Yeah. Um, and uh, they, the woman pointed me towards the, some Frank Green items. She said, oh, they're cute. Oh, all the kids have to have these. But they're, f- like, a drink bottle's $45. $45. So and then your kid goes to swimming and leaves it there. Yeah, oh, yeah. Exactly. they're disposable. Frank Green. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. And they do like little things that you can what, keep what? Your, your food warm. Is that a couple of girls out of Brisbane? I don't know. It is Australian. Is it? Yeah. Frank, Frank Green for cup holder shop. Five bucks for a water bottle. Highly really fashionable at the oh, moment. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. Great colours. Give me a break. Okay, so we're on the list. Yeah, well, okay. uh, you, you kind of dip in and out. Um, no, okay. You're pretty strong at this stage with your back fridge and your home hairdresser. I and... don't have a house cleaner. No. No. And you do have a cleaner. What are you talking about? You, you, a, you said I love it when the cleaner's been, and it's great when I come home and everything's fresh. That's again. me with no, my split personality. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, that was Sally Fletcher. The Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Unbelievable footage which you would have seen yesterday and getting around today. Uh, Kathleen Folbig. This is the case of the lady who's now been released from prison after 20 years after the jury has found, while well, she was found guilty back then of killing her four children. Children, but the court has now ruled that she did not. Um, and she has got an unconditional pardon. Which, how many pardons have we had in Australia? 
does anyone know? Like, how many people get pardoned and let out of jail? I mean, they, I mean, this is being referred to also as similar to the Lindy Chamberlain case from '92, where she was found guilty of murdering her nine-week-old uh, daughter. Um, but of course, that was the dingo story. She was then awarded 1.3 million dollars. Azaria. Azaria, yeah, for the wrongful conviction. So, Kathleen has done 20 years in prison. They've now, thanks to science and technology, been able to point out that the four kids that passed away shared a genetic mutation that causes sudden cardiac death. Very, very rare. In fact, only 134 known cases worldwide of this mutation. And so four in crazy. her family. Four in her family, so it was in her bloodline. And the... Um, the kids would simply, their hearts would stop, mm. sadly. But, um, but she was accused of killing all of her children. Yes, she was. But how, so how did they prove that she did well, it all that time ago? There was no physical evidence. The only real main evidence, and even her husband was convinced that she had murdered them, um, the main evidence was her diary entries. And they were became famous because she expressed her struggles with motherhood and how she was struggling to keep up, and they took that as possible evidence that she uh, then killed the children. So, But there was no physical evidence on the children, was no, there? No, they there couldn't wasn't. prove it. So there was just all these... Like circumstances. circumstances, she didn't. Exactly she was struggling right. with motherhood. Yep. Four children died in a period of time. It must be the mother. That's exactly right. Two boys, two girls. So then she was found guilty by the jury. Twenty-five years she was sentenced to in prison. She she spent twenty years behind bars. So here you are going. I've lost. I've lost my children. Mm. Right. My kids. Oh, I've had. F- I've lost four kids. Right. So I'm. I'm broken. Mm. Right. No one believes me. No one believes me. My husband doesn't believe me. He thinks I'm a murderer. They've Mm. separated. And now I'm doing 20 years behind bars with every other prisoner in here thinking I've killed my kids. Was she... Oh, my God. Well, I I was reading the story today in the Daily Telegraph, and she... She didn't have a very good time in jail. No, where, was, she, where is she from? She was from Gra- the, well, She was in the Grafton prison. But she, she she's a she was a baby killer known in yeah. prison. Oh my God. So she, she was physically just she, absolutely. She, and she's going to tell her story now. She which, was branded Australia's worst female serial killer. Oh man! And she's innocent. How do you get that wrong? How have they? How does this mean they've fought this for twenty years? Well, yes. like, and, or how has this information just been revealed, or is science just caught up to what uh, they've I needed think, it to be? Well, there was I think an, it's there, caught up. There was an appeal in twenty nineteen. Yep, right. At, that she lost again, but there's now with technology as well, and there was a, a, a group of professionals that come from all over the world to prove. Or, yep. you, or they they didn't prove. They said you couldn't prove that she did kill her well, children. Then, so then so she that's was the part, point. That yeah. was the point. I mean, I don't know enough about it, but if we go back to the basics here in Australia, that our legal system will say innocent until proven guilty. Well, then how the hell did she end up in prison? See, what, if you've got no physical, it, it evidence, sounds very vague. It's a bit like well, it, it all kind of points to that, yeah. so I guess that person must be guilty. That's what it feels like. I'm, I'm fascinated to know, and uh, well, she will tell her story at some stage, but how do you survive in prison when you've got no friends, Yeah, you're, you're an everyday mum, right? Yeah. You don't know anybody. Everyone's after you in there. I, yeah. I'm surprised that she's still alive. I agree. You've That's, lost it's, four children. It's, fa- it's fascinating. So you, you then have to sit in there, because you could... Imagine imagine that moment where you go, guys, I don't know how many times I can say it and I don't know how else I can say it. I'm innocent. I did not kill these kids. Well, that's what they all say. Well, that's the thing. When you're in there, prisoner to prisoner, that's what it would be. But when you're talking to your lawyer and you're talking to a jury in court and you're there devastated because four of your kids are now gone, you'd be saying, guys, mm. you have no evidence that these children... There was any harm done to these children? I, I haven't killed my children. And then she, she, her best friend. She's so she's staying with her best friend at the moment. So she went to her house, and I mean they embraced. Her friends been oh, fighting amazing for, her for twenty years, and her best friend's name is Tracy Chapman. I thought, oh, is this another cover? We got another cover of no, Fast I don't, think Car here. I don't think it's a cover. But it's the best friend is like has been fighting for her to get out for twenty years. Kate finally out. Yeah, I know that you'd need the team outside, wouldn't you? That didn't give oh. up. They just believed in you 100% to say, hey, she is innocent. So we're going to find out more. It's developed.
developing today as we find out more from um, uh, from Kathleen. Who do you give that first interview to? I mean, who's up for... Oh, and who's could paying be, for it? She could, could that, make money off this, couldn't could she? Could that because be Shervo's first one and Sunrise? Channel I mean, 7 have bought it. Channel uh, 7 won the rights. Oh, really? Yeah. Tommy. Yeah. For about yeah. 400000 the Daily Telly says. And who has the film rights? Oh, but Kate, what you're saying, pleasure. in terms of her then suing the system, how much is that worth? Can I just say, you oh, put that your, would be are, you, s- are you putting your hand up for that role, Kate Ritchie? You want to be Kathleen? I don't know. Kathleen's diaries. Can we, coming up next, and no, Kate we're not going to do an audition. But that, that, no, it, let's it, not make light of that. Very there. serious situation. I am, I am so fascinated to see what Isn't she has it? had to deal with Absolutely. over the last 20 oh my years. God. And if you think, um, I'm trying to work out how long was Lindy Chamberlain in prison for? I don't actually have that in front of me, but to be rewarded 1.3 million, that was back in 1992. Mm. I'd be fascinated to know how much she could mm. get for 20 years in prison. The Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Australian actress Sinead Curry is her name. Um, she was travelling, she's over in Italy, travelling to Bologna. Oh, yeah. Um, and so she jumped on the, tr- she jumped on the bus... And this was late at night, so they'd been travelling for around about two hours. She said everyone on the bus was asleep because it's an overnight bus. Stephen Curry sister? No, I asked. I've asked Tommy. Bernard's sister. Had, we just had a conversation for three minutes, finding out if there was any relation. But no. Okay. Do not ask again. Steph Curry. <laughs> no. No Lisa relation. Kenny. No, no. Oh, different name. No, that's. Oh, like Curry Kenny. You know, Sorry. that is. It no, could you're be. Right, you're right. It yes. could be. Oh, did it. you not get it? Yeah, I just gave you a bell for that. Oh, goodness. So, two hours they've been travelling. Everyone was asleep. She then said the bus hit something, went airborne, spun around, and landed down an embankment. It was pretty scary to the point Jeez. that one person died on the in the bus and 14 people were injured. Yeah. She was sent to the hospital. She was okay. A little bit sore. She was in a neck brace. Her nose was swollen, but it wasn't broken. She was okay. She, was, she fared mm. well. But then she's freaking out. She's ringing the bus company. Obviously, she's been through a, this horrific crash. Yeah. And she just wants to get her luggage back. She wants to get everything back. Of course. And the bus company is not picking up the phone. They're not getting any answers at all. And she receives a text message. Have a listen to this. Flixbus, none of your numbers are working. They ring out and they hang up on us. We cannot get any information from Flixbus. We can't get our luggage back. We, uh, they offered us by a text. A, a 10 euro meal replacement voucher for the inconvenience. A 10 euro meal replacement voucher for the crash. So sorry. You'll have to get back wow. to us to see where your luggage is. Wow. You'd, ra- you'd rather no offer. Yeah, it depends no on what, text. Well, it depends what the you? prices yeah, I, were I at the agree. food bar. I agree. Don't even, don't even try. Like, don't, don't start with that. It's, cr- it's, it's funny. And I, people who complain to companies, there's a lot of people that do this and go to the effort. What did you get back? Vicky's given us a call from Southern Highlands. Uh, who did you complain to, Vic? What was the situation? We had a, a wedding book. Yeah. Um, for September this year, we cancelled it in early February, mm. and everyone, the photographer, the caterers, all gave us our deposit back. But the hire company uh, told us that the company had been sold since we made our booking, oh, no. and the previous owner had taken our deposit. <gasps> that was in the deal, yeah. and so we they kept two and a half thousand dollars of our money, and oh, they said we geez. could use it in the next eighteen months. But we said we're probably not going to have another wedding in the next eighteen months. But we will have plenty of weddings, but they weren't interested in that. Oh. So they've got two and a half thousand dollars. So got got, have you still got? A, is it a, as a credit note? Well, they offered it for eighteen months. I know. Yeah, well, this but is the thing. Said, You've got to have a wedding in eighteen months. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> so someone in the family has to find love very quickly. <laughs> go, 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 go. Oh, let's go to James in Summer Hill. Who did you complain to, James? So I, uh, as a kid, reply, uh, responded to a, a well-known lolly company that uh, had changed their recipe for a, a bag of snakes, yep. and they uh, they sent back a three dollar check uh, to go and buy another bag of snakes. Wow. <laughs> yes. There it is, a three dollar check. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Imagine if the check bounced too. We were talking about your card declining before. Remember when your check bounced two days later? James, did you go and get some more? lollies 
Yeah, after the five day for the check to clear, clear then I'm yeah. going by the lorry. <laughs> <laughs> Got on your job. Now you know what? It, if James was smart, that that would have been a story. Like I, I used that three dollar yeah. check to start Canva, and now I'm a billionaire. <laughs> <laughs> I started my own lolly business. Ash and Schofield, what's your story? Hey, guys. So I ordered um, meals from, like, a meal delivery company, like the pre-prepared meal company. Yeah. Um, I complained because the food was, like, pretty horrible the first time around. Um, and so they made up for it, and they gave me a whole week's worth of pre-prepared food for free. How and it was great. And made up for it. Is a week enough? <laughs> yeah, it is. Do you know, you should I think, I think but was it as horrible as the first week? It wasn't actually. The meat was not off. <laughs> See, the, the other one we need to focus on is lifetime supplies. You know how some companies go, you've got a lifetime supply yeah. of Tim Tams or Mars they mani- Bars. They manage it, don't they? This is the thing. I think you get one a week yeah, for they, a certain amount of time for 20 years or something. Right. Like, it's their decision on how much ice cream you should yeah. eat yes. per week, and maybe that's just one. I oh, know. That's life in prison, and they go, oh, it's 25 years or whatever life is these days, and then they budget it out. I mean, I'm talking back to the food. Yeah. They budget it out. If you were in my house and offering me a lifetime supply of ice cream and it's one a week, no way, no. No, that's 500. That's, uh, that's a tub yeah. a day. See, that's a tub a day, You're yeah. not eating that, right? But you would go to the effort every week mm-hmm. to store that ice cream oh, yeah. for later down the track mm-hmm. you and would, have a you? huge ice cream party. Everybody yeah. in my like, place. Whipple would actually then buy... You would probably hire out fridges... And you're 20 years right, down the track, you would have. You've got. So you haven't four. saved anything. Hey, guys, I've got 14 tons of chalk chip ice cream. Why is there Mr. Whippy Van out the <laughs> He's the snack man! Oh, mate, all right. Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie. Hey, that's a secret. Podcast password. If you want to get your hands on stacks of great prizes, just head over to our Instagram stories at Fitzy Whipper Kate and enter this password. Today's password is. Parrots. The Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Going with the headline here, guys. Please read the bottle before using. Uh, this has had five million views. What I like about this story, there's a couple of things. A woman has um, accidentally, she's 22 years old, she's an influencer. She uh, has shared on her platform the chronicles of her day where she mistook uh, eye drops and use super glue to pop into her eyes. Is that, oh, is that is real? That is that po- you can't. Don't you know? Like, I mean, super glue, what is the um, the Tarzan grip kind of? You monkey. know that. Isn't it called, is it monkey grip? Or? There, there is monkey, monkey grip. grip. Tarzan's another one. Gorilla grip. Gorilla grip. That's you it. know. Monkey strong. You know the difference between an, an eye drop bottle You'd and You'd smell it, it wouldn't you? Well, you know what? I do? In saying that, though, this has just come to mind. I did go to the dentist yesterday yeah. and it went from work and I thought I should clean my teeth before I quickly go in. Yeah. And I had popped in my deep heat instead of my toothpaste. But as soon as you see the, yeah, the, the, the thing, yeah, the it becomes, the it becomes you, very... Your breath uh, smells beautiful. <laughs> oh, oh, my can't God. can't taste a thing. There's a locker room in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but then when you... Ma- <laughs> <laughs> then when you massage toothpaste into your lower back, it got a bit weird. We will move on from the locker room. Um, do you know what's funny about this? Her name is Lyd. Lyd? Yeah. Lydia. L- L-Y-D. She calls herself Lyd. As in she's Lydia. Just, she's what's just, so funny she's about Because she just glued her eyelid together. Oh, oh right, okay. I thought you meant like the lid on the container. So would, that damage, would that damage the actual... Iris, like your actual eyeball. Well, the doctor had to painstakingly scrape the glue out of her eyes and then in the corner of her eyes dig it out as it's stuck to the skin around there. I think the natural fluid in the eye washed a lot of it away. But wouldn't it burn like Oh, hell? my God. I you, I, I, I'm not a big fan of the eye drop. Oh, mate, I hate Dude, eye well, drops. Kate, well, Kate, you would know as well when you're in the... You know when they always ask you in the makeup chair, you know that you're tired, right, when you're in the makeup chair and they go, do you, do you want some eye drops? Would you like some eye drops? Because your eyes are red. You want me to clear Pete, those eyes Pete for you? Pete Hellier on the project was a big one. Always had red eyes, Pete. And I don't know what he was smoking beforehand, but he would always have, yeah, chuck a couple of eye drops in there and, and, and it would clear up. But you can do your own eye drops. Some makeup artists will do it for you. Mm. Think, what do you think I am? Huh? Don't you have a makeup artist? Yes, but yeah. I can do my own eye, eye drops. Eye drops? Yeah. No, I, 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 can't, can't, you know. I can't do my own eye drops. No. It freaks me out. And that's why people can't put contact lenses in. 
But mm. I can't do contacts and can do eye drops like that. Right. Really, nearly, I could without, do it driving the car. Without your makeup artist. Yeah. I know, oh. a, I know there's a decent budget here at Nova for it. <laughs> what are you... Oh, that is so rude. <laughs> Everybody got a budget for that hair and makeup? That is so rude. I don't, I don't think any of that is for discussion on air. It came with the driver. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my gosh. god! I, do you, I have had. I've done my own makeup this morning. That's obvious. And it's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Well said, mate. Well said. We move on. The Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. He's the stunt man. <laughs> Guys, I read out a little bit of information. You give me the stats that I need to match the interesting fact. I like this. Stat facts back. All right. <clears throat> okay. Good stunt. Hey, I'm not all that comfortable with the first with stat. reading. With the first stats stat we're going to go back. with. All right. Is that what you were trying to Something do? Something like that. I'm not quite sure. Uh, streaming live on the Fitz and Whipper Facebook page. Which Stat is great. Street Boy. You know, Instagram. Instagram. Instagram's isn't it? fine with me. I'm Hi. Cool. Um, here we go, guys. What hey, is... Comment on what we're wearing today. What do you think? Yeah, who, who wore it best? Cool. <laughs> um, what about <laughs> this, guys? <laughs> We've gone block colours today. <laughs> what flag are we? Uh, blue, red, and green. That's not green. What is it then, mate? Yeah, well... Let's not worry about the colour of shirts. Um, What about this one? What percentage of pilots have admitted to falling asleep while flying? Oh, my God. Well, I would say... They fly themselves, don't they, these days? These days. Well, they would have at least once. I'll say say 85%. You'll say 85. Kate, where are you? Admitted it? Yeah. Uh, 20%. 20%. 20 is Kate. Thomas Brian Ivey, where are you? I'd say 2%. On that one? Not many. 2%. If any. If any. Oh, you've uh, gone scrolling. I would say Kate's got that at 20%. 20%? 20%? Well, yeah, the answer is 54%. Oh, yes. Guys. She did oh, get it. I think you're nearest to the did. pin there, Kate. Well, the majority of them, the long haul ones, they have to have a kip, don't they? Yeah, but I would have thought that you don't, when you're sitting behind the big stick, I wouldn't have thought that you would have a kip. Like well, falling asleep on the I job. Think that's well, there's not j- only it's, one pilot. No, it's, they all automatic. Pi- they all do automatic pilot yeah. at some stage. Still need someone you to still be need alert. Someone to be awake. Yeah, but if you got two of you there, Dave, nah. go and have a kip for have a power nap or, or, or Amanda. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, <laughs> or Sally, or, or Gary, or Debbie, or, or Alex could be both. Yeah. So who cares what gender the pilot is? Is what I always say. I don't see gender anymore. Here we go, guys. How long does the average relationship last these days? <laughs> not as long as you think it's ah. going to. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Thought this one was forever. That's a month. funny. What? That's, that's humorous. Uh, I like that stuff. Yeah, that's funny. funny. Good in the morning I'm on a gloomy. Still laughing on the inside. Tuesday. You uh, guys go. First, um, all, all arts are last. All right, Kate Ritchie. The average. How long does the average relationship, when I'm talking about... Marriage av- or relationship? Relationship. So that would include marriage. Are we talking months, weeks, years? I need it in years. Okay. Six and a half years. Six and a half for Kate. Ryan James. No, Tom's going next. Seven years. Oh. I'll Seven go, years? I'll go six. No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, then I'm going to go eight. You've gone the wrong way. fitzy has got it with six. Yes. Two, and a half, two years no. and nine months. Two years, nine months. Yeah. Fitzy was the lowest, nearest to the pin, guys. That's a lot of people on um, two years. Instagram Live saying, Whit, in that T-shirt, you look like the Ukrainian president, which is nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> Zelensky. I've got a... <laughs> Couple of, big, away. couple of big decisions to make today. Yeah. Hey, go get some sleep. <laughs> oh, I'm trying, you've been working really hard. I just want to be with the family. Uh, here we go, guys. How many tweets are sent every day? Mm. How many tweets? Yeah. Are you on Twitter, Kate? Yeah, but I can't f- remember my password. Yeah, I've been logged in for years. Are we talking millions here? Or billions? Well, we're talking millions. How many million tweets are sent every day? I'll say 500 million. Um, do, you say, do you say half a billion, eh? Yep. Yes. Okay. Kate Ritchie from the Ritchie family. <laughs> Hello, Kate. Uh, yeah, I'm here. Hello. Two, <laughs> 200, and, uh, 200 million. 200 million from Kate. Okay. Thomas Brian 50 Ivey. million for me, please. 50. I think Tom's got a... <laughs> One of you have a <laughs> spot on. <laughs> right on the number. <laughs> Ryan James Fitzgerald, <laughs> 500 million. Wow. 
Bang, there it is. Half a billion tweets a day. And that's yeah. just from Fitzy. Because that, that's pe- people... People do multiple tweets a day. Yeah. Well, you're either really mad for it Aren't or you? you couldn't be bothered. Do I mean, you have Twitter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. I love it. Twitter. I love Fire and Crew up on Twitter. It's the best. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, you on Twitter? Uh, no, but I'm on Instagram Live. And yeah, Matt, any other Zalewski jokes? <laughs> Matt, um, Matt uh, Sneddon is playing along. Oh, He's started Snedzy. his own version of Statman. And his question is, how many meals does Whopper have at work? <laughs> Uh, Kate, I'll, I'll take say five hundred million. Fitzy <laughs> and Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.